What a beautiful life in a All that I've got is all that I need. I've got you, baby, you got me. What more could I ask for? Beautiful life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your boy, The Real Charlemagne. Welcome to Brick City on this uh, beautiful Saturday. Today, I have a special guest. But before I get to the, to the guest, I want to give a shout out to, uh, you know, Desca Chocolate, DescaChocolate.com. Mom, you know, chocolate made with a mom's touch. You can't beat that at all. <laughs> Reach out her to DescaChocolate.com for your orders. Um summertime so it may be a little delay on the orders because of shipping but definitely reach out to it also y'all be safe out there holidays coming up five are gonna be deep you know the covid still lingering hey be out there be on your best behavior and don't get jammed up <laughs> i don't have no bail money for you <laughs> but anyway the guest today we have miss richardson She's going to discuss her um, consulting business and how she can help you. She's also providing a gift. You got to listen. You got to wait till the end to hear what the gift is going to be. But she has a gift for you guys today. Well, one person today. I'm sorry. Not everybody. Just one person. <laughs> Ms. Richardson, yeah, how you doing? Just one today. Just one today. <laughs> okay. Okay. How you doing over there, Ms. Richardson? I'm doing just fine. I am doing great. Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So my name is Charlene Richardson. Um, I am actually, I live in Wilson, North Carolina. Um, me and my business partner actually have a um, a business called All Things Financial. And we also have um, ATF Logistics, Two Ladies in a Fleet. Um, so we do a whole lot of stuff as far as what we do to help people. But mostly, it's mostly in funding. Um, we do taxes. We do trucking. And we absolutely just be, like to be a resource to the community. We like to be able to help people get into a couple of things that they may need or don't need. Or just get you um, to that place where you have a better understanding. Um, trucking is really, really hot right now. Everybody wants to get a box truck. And they want to get on a road. And they think it's just so easy. But when it comes to trucking... You're going to pay the cost to be the boss every single time. And so <laughs> <laughs> me and Erica, we both, um, we are what you call risk takers. We, mm -hmm. we don't mind taking risks. And so when it came to the trucking industry, it was something that we had wanted to get into, but we weren't really sure. So, um, taxes definitely put us in a place to have a lot more capital so we were able to take our tax money and go buy a truck. So we thinking like, it's cool. Like we got oh. a truck. We bought a truck, you know what I'm saying? We bought a truck, yeah. we got everything together, got a driver, you know, and, and things seem to be going so well. But when it came time for us to get that paperwork together, we, <laughs> man, we lost a lot. We, we spent a lot of money, but we lost a lot of money too, right. just by not knowing everything that we needed to know before we got into it. And, you know, we offer a start your own trucking business um, within 30 days. Mm -hmm. Um and we offer that class because it's, it's a great class if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Right. It's easy to call your homeboy, call your homegirl, and, and they tell you what they did. But they forget all the bad stuff yeah, they forget when the you bad start stuff. making money. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, like what, it's like once you get paid, it's like you really want that bad. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah, you yeah, in yeah. it, it's like, oh my God, we about to die. Yeah, so, yeah. so when is your next trucking class? When is your next class? Our next class is July 10th, and it's going to be in person. I'm I'm off. I'm waiting right now because it's a good chance that it'll be virtual as well. Okay. But we really needed it to be in. I like it being in person because I like being personable. I like being able to tell people exactly what happened, how it happened. And I need people to be able to ask those questions that they have because if you don't have questions going into the um, trucking industry, you will, but it'll be because you, it costs you some money. So, right. like... Right. I, I tell people that it's best to come in with an open mind and let mm -hmm. us give you the information and then you ask your questions because we thought we had it in the bag. We like we business savvy, <laughs> like we can figure it out. <laughs> a business is a business, but let me right. tell you, trucking is a completely different monster that I feel like people need that extra yeah. education to very get much. into it. And you don't necessarily need it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't need it. People be like, oh, you don't have to take the class. You really don't. But right. let me tell you something. I, in our class, we always talk about how we how we lost $2,500 off the gate. Mm -hmm. Just by going to the wrong tag place. Like, oh, we allow oh. some 
somebody we we went to the tag place to get tags for the truck and the lady told us that oh you just this is what you need we told her what truck we had we told mm -hmm. her what we're trying to do and she had no idea like we definitely didn't need to be there so it's just like <laughs> we <t> <laughs> It was definitely the wrong place to be, but we gave her our money, you know, and right. we wasted the money because we had to go back and get another tag, get the right tag this time. Like, it was just crazy. But when it comes to the trucking industry, a lot of people think that it's just something you can just walk into, like you walking into a new job or something, but mm -hmm. it's not. Even with taxes, you know, we do taxes. We teach people how to do taxes. We okay. also have a software company called Premier Connect where we go the extra step and allow people who are just out here being tax preparers for other people to become their own and to work for that's, themselves. That's... It's all about, you know, when you start, when you work for yourself mm -hmm. is when you're able to make moves and make decisions. You are now as a business owner, you are able to put yourself in that seat where you can actually say yes or no. And it actually means something to somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you can be at your job and be like, I ain't working today, but you're just going to be fired tomorrow. Right. Like, but when you, yeah. when you own something, you have the ability to make changes and, you know, being able to work in the trucking industry, being able to have your own, even with taxes, being able to hire who we want to hire. I can mm -hmm. hire a felon if I want to, you right. know, I can, I can, I can, I have the ability to hire people that most people wouldn't find favorable. And right. so being able to put ourselves in that position to still be able to take on people who are not as favorable to others and still be able, because those are some hardworking people. They don't right, do right, something. Right, right. They work hard. I like yeah. them people. I oh, like yeah. all people, but right. <laughs> being able to, like I like all people, but being definitely, able to help somebody that really needs it is, yeah. is a special place for us. Exactly. And that, that's, that's a beautiful thing that you, you're actually giving back because like you said, it's, everybody has a, a, a rainy day. You know what I mean? Every, so. Everybody's day is not always going to be sunny. And, you know, something that you did 30 years ago is going to haunt you today. You know what I mean? And, and it's like, why am I still getting punished for something 30 years ago? And um, I'm glad you take right. the initiative to, to bring people in and give them that chance, you know, because a lot of people don't do that. Now, um, I know the class is coming up. Can you give a uh, can you get an address and uh, the location where the class is going to be held? It is going to be in Goldsboro. We actually have a co-working space in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Okay. Um, and, and the co-working space, it is 201 West Ash Street, Suite 1. Okay. Um, we're in a building on the end. The big building on the end is what we tell everybody because it's like a building and it's like a couple of other little stores there. Mm -hmm. But um, it's there and we're going to be up and ready. I think it's going to start at 10. It's usually over by 2. Maybe okay. a little bit earlier, depending upon questions, but it's mm -hmm. usually between 10 and 2, but it's usually over before 2 o'clock. Got you. And um, the cost of that is? The cost of that class is two fifty. Okay. And I tell people all the time that it's a great class to get started in, to have the options. Um, in that class, we teach about different kinds of equipment, whether it be dump trucks, whether it be box trucks, semis, um, I think. We just added like dualies and stuff like mm -hmm. that up there. So it gives you a, a hot shot. So it gives you an idea of different kinds of equipment and how you can go about getting work, how you can go about getting your stuff, making sure that all your paperwork is correct and how to make sure that the DOT is not your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, I know I look at talk I about have, compliance a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have a few friends that that's that has those seventeen hundred dollar tickets and those. You know, those tickets that's like, I'll be like, ooh. But then they'd be right. like, you know, man, we made it. You know, we, we took a risk and we made it. But I, but it was, a, it was a little hit, though. <laughs> right. It can be. Trust yeah, me. It it's, a it's a very expensive place to be. But it's, at the same time, with that same risk comes a lot of rewards. Because the trucking right. industry is a trillion-dollar industry. Yeah. It's a great place to be at. Yeah, and that's the thing. Logistics not going anywhere. Any type of logistics. I mean... It is here from the beginning of the time. You know, everything is going virtual and you could mail order. It has to get to you. It, you know, right. regardless, regardless of the fact you ordering online, you're doing other stuff online, but it has to get to a central location. Then it has to get out to you. So therefore, that industry is definitely not going anywhere. Um, so you consult. What other type of consulting do you do? I know you. you we do questions. business consulting. We do a lot okay. of business consulting. I love business, business consulting because when I, man, I used to, um, I had a dream like a long, long time ago. I remember when I was 
I was probably 19, 20 when I first started realizing that entrepreneurship might be something I might be interested in, but I wasn't mm-hmm. really too committed. I was still working pretty hard right. and I wanted to create this lingerie shop so bad. Mm-hmm. And, um, this didn't know where to get started, what to do, who I'm supposed right. to talk to or nothing. And mm-hmm. I just felt so defeated. I had a business plan. I don't wrote three business plans already and didn't have, didn't know, still didn't know even how to get an LLC, didn't know mm-hmm. how to do a DBA, stuff like that. So right. when it comes to consulting, we love, I, I love talking to people that want just, uh, they have an idea and they want to see how they can transition an idea to actually being um, a full blown business. Right. where people are actually coming inside your shop or you're going to be a virtual business, whatever it may be. So we do a lot of consulting. We help a lot of business owners with the pandemic. Oh my mm-hmm. God. We help over like, it's probably about 350 or 400. We've helped over 400 business owners get plenty of funding on mm-hmm. up into the range of 150. Even my people that got 150, the first round, they still went back and were able to get another five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars just mm-hmm. being able to put it out there and allow um, the business owners to have an understanding of how it works. Got gotcha. you. Gotcha. People don't understand it. Even when you're in business, you got to have, you got to build relationships. Like it's people put memes up all the time. Your network is your net worth. It's not a meme. It's like real it's life. Real, like real. That's every, real. <laughs> it's hey, look, real life. That's, that's like, real for real. For it's real, for real. For real. It's your, all your about network is no. your net worth because if, right. you, if, you, if you don't have anything bringing it to your network, it, 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 it's not going to grow. But if you have people that's, like I said, collectively keep adding to your your network. It's like, yeah, your net worth is going to continue to grow. And, right. And, you know, it's, so we can we definitely can start with with biz, with business owners, whether they be new or they're old. A lot of times, business owners have a lot of bad habits. Right. Um, they have not built business credit. They don't know right. why they need to build business credit. We find that um, a lot of business owners need bookkeeping, just keeping records, right. not commingling funds, like <laughs> how to actually do a bank. Like I love going to the bank. The bank, the bank loves me. Like they, they literally say my name. They, Hi, Miss Richardson. How are you doing today? Yeah. And it just does something to my spirit. <laughs> right, right, right. I absolutely love going hey, to look, the bank like, because because they they want that half a percent, that percent. On, on that money that they give you. <laughs> right. And I'm okay with that. Just say approved right. when I come yeah, in here and look, ask for yeah. let, Hey, just you let know? me get it. Let me get what I need to do. I, I'll kick you back your, your money. But, um, right. but yeah, that's, that's a blessing. I don't mind at all. And yeah. I think it's just about putting ourselves in a better place because although we were able to help a lot of businesses get funding mm-hmm. with during, through the pandemic, it was a lot of businesses that didn't qualify. Like, right. you know, people think the PPP thing was a whole, oh, it's a joke. You know, people yeah. just out here just getting PPP funds just to be getting it. Right. it it's not a joke, y'all. Like, it's it's <laughs> it's real money, real time. So, right. you dealing with the government here. Right. So, you know, telling the government that you made $100,000 when you didn't to get 20 yeah, bands. Yeah. 20 bands. 20 bands ain't nothing. Okay? Right, 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 right. Like, <laughs> so we, we eat that in, in the business world. $20,000 is like a small amount of money. They yeah. might cover us for one month, but right. more than that, right? No, like you, yeah. like yeah. it, it literally only covers the payroll. Like right. it's like sometimes <laughs> you got to put yourself in that place. So I tell people, like when it comes to being a new business owner, we have so many new business owners mm-hmm. now that you got to make sure your stuff is in place, make sure everything is structured correctly, and right. know what you're talking about whenever you're dealing with the bank or what the bank is looking for, because right. you want to be able to. Get funding. You don't yeah, want to always be trying to use your money. Exactly. Yeah, you got to be able to And that's the thing, you know. And that's that's a mis- <laughs> misconception in our community. And I try to I try to explain that to a lot of business owners that I I've encountered throughout you know my life. You gotta you gotta have that business credit because they see you paying cash for everything. They see you know you always paying cash cash cash. They're like, well, you don't need my money. You, you why, why do you need right? Money? You got and, cash, and, it, and you're not doing it. Dude, you're not doing them any favors because they're making money off of interest. You know what I mean? Right. So you're constantly paying cash, 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 and then when you get to, ready to make that large purchase that you don't have the cash for, and then you go try to get credit, they are looking at you sideways because they're like, "Oh, you haven't done any business with us. You don't have any. You know, you don't have any history. So why are we going to give you that million dollars? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> because right. I, I know I know people that had over a million dollars in assets and then they went to the to the bank to get a loan and the bank was like for the loan was only a half a mil and um the bank was like no nah, because 
you don't have a, a history of paying anything. So they like you don't you right. Don't, it's all about <laughs> it's all about he had a million dollars worth of collateral, but they was like, mm-mm, nope. <clears throat> yep, you got to bridge, you got to bridge the gap, you got to make a bridge. You gotta make a you bridge. You gotta connect everything together. Exactly. So that you know, no matter where you go, no matter what you're doing, you can go and get the funding that you need, whether it be today. I need to grab some money up real quick today. I need to grab some money right. up in 48 hours. You gotta be able to get capital quickly. And only way to do that is to make sure that your business is structured correctly. Right. I get so tired. I get it, I be in groups and stuff like that. And <laughs> We have these new business and, and nothing against new business owners, but I have been with seeing so many people telling them, oh, go get you an escort. Go, you know, now that you got your LLC, now you can be taxed as an escort. And they have no idea what that means. Right. And so try to get them like before y'all send in the paperwork that somebody gave you for free that you could have got for free anyway by just mm -hmm. going to the IRS.gov website. Exactly. You have no idea why you're doing it. Like, right, right. Just you have no it. idea. Yeah, so, like, it's yeah. just like, why? I'll be asking people. I have like three, I already had three consultations last week with people that have an escort and don't even know why they are escorts. They don't even know what the <laughs> benefit of it was. Just somebody right. told them that's what they needed to do. So, yeah. you know, we're here to just be a resource and help right. people as much as we can. The co working space, that's what it's for. We made a co working space just for entrepreneurs to be able to come in to the, um, you know, our secretary is your secretary that day. Definitely. You have an office. We give you a space that you can actually sit in and meet clients. We got a training center that seats like 20 people. So, you know, it's a place that you can come in and teach a class or you can come in and meet someone or just come in and, and work. Like we got computers and stuff like that in there. Definitely. So I think it's a great space to just so network. So you charge hourly, hourly for that or do you charge how does that work? We have like what we call a hot desk. So a hot desk means that you can just come in at any time and pay $25 to sit down okay. and you can stay the whole day if you like we do have free wi-fi free coffee now okay. if you want it like a dedicated desk it is a little bit more i want to say it's like 175 a month then we have like a um we have another plan that might be 500 where it's dedicated where nobody else comes into that office space but you gotcha. and so we they um all everything is on our website and okay. um all website? Financial dot, website? it's all things financial dot biz okay B I Z. Got you, got you. And they can go up there and they can find a, they can find out um like as far as about the co-working space and stuff like that. But that's what that kind of stuff is for. Just being able to be a yeah, resource to the community. We just want people to be able to come through and be able to get an understanding. And I promise you, if you come to my office and you done pay for any kind of desk and you ask me a question about business, there's no way I wouldn't answer it. Because right. you're in my space, you right here. I yeah. tell people that all the time. When you come into a space like that. You afraid to do what you want to do? Right, like you coming right. in, you got us there. You think I'm? You ask me how to do something, I'm gonna be like, oh no, nah, girl, let me send you my link so you can pay. <laughs> now that is now you hit me up on Facebook. That's what I like to do. I'm gonna send you a link. Right, <laughs> I understand. But if you in my yeah, if you in my house, it's busy. Yeah, if you in my house and you ask me a question, of course I'm gonna answer it. Right now, you, I know you it's all about helping. Story. I know you got a, got one success story that stands out to you. Who's that one? You don't have to name the business. Can you can you give one success story like that you helped the person from ground zero and they're successful now? Oh, I, I got a so couple many. of things. Just, just choose, choose one. <laughs> right. So I had this one guy, right? And so, okay. um, well, I don't necessarily want to use that one. Okay. We don't have so many. And I should have been thought of one like beforehand because <laughs> we done had so many. But I'm yeah. trying to figure out one that I can tell without, because I got to think about what I don't put on Facebook or like <laughs> trying to conceal their identities and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, just being able to like people come in. We had this one guy. I had this, you know, I'm going to go with Miss Armors. I got this one lady, right? So mm -hmm. she cool. She good people. And when she came to me, her business was just in shambles. Right. Like, she didn't have a whole lot going on with the business. It's just something that she had. She's been catering and doing plates for years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's been doing plates and never really made it anything more than what it was. She was just out here peddling, pushing plates from her kitchen. Okay. And, um... So she came in, we got her, got our business structure correctly, got everything done for her. And when it comes to her success, I'm not going to say that it's necessarily a 
dollar amount of her success. It's the transition of her success. Because even though we went through a pandemic and stuff like that, her business did numbers during a pandemic. Meaning mm -hmm. she tripled her revenue. When she first came in, she was scared to even pay. <laughs> she was scared to pay her, pay herself, not her employees, but herself. Wow. She never paid herself before. So imagine being in your business and never paying yourself. Yeah, exactly. Always feeling like you can't pay yourself. But as we got everything structured, one of her main goals, one of the things I made her focus on was paying herself. So this year when she came back in, we just did that. We just came out of tax season, came in. Not only did her business triple mm -hmm. in revenue. So imagine going, imagine taking your business from a $10,000 business. And she probably did more than triple it. Her business went from, she was doing about ten, five to $10,000 for the year. You know, not a whole lot. She's just mm -hmm, working mm -hmm. here and there. But being serious about it, she's already did sixty eight thousand in her business. Wow, that's sixty eight thousand awesome. dollars in her business. Not that's only awesome. that, but she has been paying herself, paying herself every week, just like she pays her employees. And yeah. I take that, and I tell people all the time that that right there is what pushes me to keep going. Because I remember when I didn't pay myself, right. I was scared to pay myself. I was like, "You ain't enough money for me to pay myself." Right, but right, right. When you think of it like that, you can't. But when you, you start can. thinking about it in the terms of I need to make more money so I can pay myself. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden it makes sense for yeah. her. She didn't need to make much money. That's what she used to, she used to come coming off and say, I don't need much money. You know, maybe three or $400 a week. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they do that. at. I, I need more than $400 hey, a week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I need more money. But yeah. you know, sometimes when you I in mean, a relationship you know, with I, someone, you know, like, like married, my boy say, don't cap yourself. Like, that. Don't, yeah. cap, don't cap yourself, you know. Right. Don't cap yourself. I, I, basically, you're she. Basically, she was treating herself like she was the worker, and the the employees were the CEO because they the yeah. ones making the money. Yeah. But I I'm like I said, I'm glad you took one more. Around. Yeah, I'll give around. you one. I'm gonna give you one more. Okay. Because we got about five is, minutes left, so go ahead. Okay, five minutes Make left. I got a lady <laughs> that has did has made about seventy seven thousand dollars in her business last year. Okay. We do the paperwork. She come in. She already business already structured. But something ain't right because she worked full time. She worked Monday through Friday every day. She make about thirty five thousand dollars at her regular job. Mm -hmm. This lady was not. She was taking a whole thirty five thousand that she made in her business mm -hmm. and put uh, in her on her job and put it into the business. So it automatically looked like the business was making really good money, but it's right. not. Okay. Like again, it goes back to where is your money? <laughs> right, right, where right, right. is it? Like where mm -hmm. is it going? So just being able to see that transition, this lady has not been paying herself, but she is now back to paying herself. She is now back to her business being in the positive is a huge testament to being able to just structure yourself correctly and making sure that you know exactly what to do and where to put stuff at and yeah. how to be a much just to be a healthier business owner, period, to have a healthier business. So when it comes to consulting that is our baby that's mm -hmm. something that i have been doing forever and i plan to continue doing that when it comes to trucking y'all <laughs> i love trucking it's probably one of my favorite things to do and i just hope that anybody that has any questions or just want to feel the free to come out to the class i would love for y'all guys to just come out to the class and enjoy yourself and bring your questions you can bring your right. mate i do allow mates to come for free if so okay. if you um have a husband and wife situation it's two of y'all just pay one ticket and you can come this is not for you to bring your sister your cousin right. or nothing like that <laughs> this is just like oh, for your spouse or your business partner because i do have a business bestie and okay. without her we probably would have never done half the stuff that we have done so right. if you got a business bestie i'm gonna do a business bestie package up here so i'm willing to do a business bestie for 250 so that's okay. two people for 250 and i'm gonna do one free person somebody that's just been trying to get into the trucking industry wow. somebody that has have already been in the trucking industry. I don't care what your situation is, but the first person to reach out and tell me that Charlamagne sent you, I will definitely bring you in for free. Wow, that's awesome. That's that's amazing. You you gonna get a blessing for that one. <laughs> 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 All right. So so here's here's the um his uh, you always gotta drop a nugget on my show. What's a nugget you would give give to anyone listening? Anyone that's you know, struggling in life, trying to figure it out, what's one nugget you would give to them? You got to faith everything forward. Like without faith, and I know a lot of people are not spiritual or I'm not even a whole like 
just faith everything forward. If you believe it, it can happen. It's all about being able to say, I believe in me. Mm-hmm. And this, this is it's just a, it's a faith walk that you're going to be taking when you go into business for yourself. It's plenty of times you feel like tomorrow ain't going to happen or the money ain't going to be there and every single time it'll happen. So whoever is out there struggling in their business, I'm going to just tell you to just stay calm. Stay right. calm, stay cool, and stay faith up because you're going <laughs> to need it. If you don't have a connection with a higher power, you will <laughs> before your first year is up. Just right. faith it forward. <laughs> right. You if you don't know God, you will. Okay. So right. I'm just telling. I tell people all the time, just faith it forward. I have done so much just activating my faith and Get being up. able to be a blessing. And don't forget to be a blessing. Always turn back around and help the next person. I faith exactly. everything forward. I help people. Sometimes I don't know where it's coming from. Right. I don't know how I'm gonna get paid. I still help people. Now right. I know how I'm gonna get paid, but I still help people regardless of what they give back. Gotcha. So always be you and stay true to yourself. People do not like fake people. I don't like no. fake people. Exactly. I don't get y'all a few nuggets. So yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> stay tell, true to hey, you. All right. We we look. We we're a little bit short. So tell them how to reach you real quick. Your website again. I am um the our website is authentsfinancial dot um dot biz. You can meet us on Facebook, Instagram. My name is Charlene Richardson. Feel free to look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we are everywhere. I think we're on every platform. Uh, if you are a tax preparer looking for a place to come to, you need to, you got your EFIN or you don't got your EFIN, you're trying to get your EFIN, come through. We got packages for y'all as well. We're just here to be a resource. We're just trying to take a couple of people with us. we on a millionaire run, and we are trying to take as many millionaires as we can possibly take with us. Amen. Amen. All right. With that being said, I appreciate you. I Thank you, you so you much. Blessed, you blessed my spirit today with that, with the, with your <laughs> inspirational words, because um, that's me. I'm always trying to give and, and help in any way, any way possible. Because if I don't know it, I always try to find someone that can help. Right. You know I, mean? I always try to find a resource. So you became my resource today. You became my ally. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It so was so great I'll definitely be sending people your way as well. And um, Thank you. Said, Bill Charlemagne. Hey, don't forget to follow me on our platforms as well. Um, Brick City on IG and uh, Facebook. Um, the Real Charlemagne on YouTube, TikTok, and Clubhouse. And until next time, talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed one. Peace. I'm gonna say